Hello, I'm Ninja Greg, and you're watching the Ninja Greg Show. And this is a review of DC's Justice League Justice League War. Well, if there's one thing DC is pretty good at, it's making animated movies. You take a look at DC's library, and they got a crap ton of animated movies, and they have a pretty good history of animated TV shows as well, so DC and Warner Brother really excel at animation, and so far, every DC animated movie that I've seen, I've really liked, and this one is no exception. Well, what's the synopsis? Basically, it's kind of based on how the Justice League came about according to the New 52, the relaunch of the DC Universe not too long ago. And the world's still kind of new to heroes. And, you know, honest, I think we've kind of seen this a, l a little bit before, but, you know, it's based on... on something that completely rebooted the entire DC universe anyway, so what can you expect from that? And what are the positives? Well, the heroes are exactly how you expect them to be. Superman, Superman, Batman's Batman, Shazam. Well, I guess that's his technic that's really is his name now since Captain Marvel's copyrighted, but that's a, that's a whole nother story. Shazam is Shazam. The Flash is the Flash. The only ones who are kind of different, maybe, are are the Green Lantern, who's a little bit full of himself, kind of like Ryan Reynolds from the Green Lantern movie. And Wonder Woman has little patience for waiting around just to talk. But it's understandable. She's a warrior. She's used to... Yeah, action and being out there on the battlefield, not so much negotiations. But she is portrayed really well in this movie, and I, I liked it. I thought she was handled with respect. And I like seeing the I like seeing them come together to fight this common threat, even though they all at first think of each other as kind of a threat, like the Superman's an unstoppable, all powerful alien, Batman is Batman, he doesn't exactly have the greatest trust track record out there. But when they, when Darkseid invades, invades the, invades Earth with his parademons to try and take it over and turn it into his, his new planet apocalypse, they, they realize, holy crap, there's stuff out there that's bigger than any of us. The only way we're going to stop this guy is working together and, yeah, they come together, but it's still kind of the beginning baby stages of the Justice League. They're not close. They're not really a team. They they a lot of them thought that this was just a one-time deal, but it's definitely the start of something bigger here, and I like that. I'm really kind of hard pressed to find anything negative to say about it. The acting's pretty good. The animation's great. Uh, some of the minor stuff you see in the in the movie, like maybe the relation between Wonder Woman and Superman, or Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor, and how the characters. Well, no, not how the characters, because that's actually pretty big. But Wonder Woman's kind of new attitude, and uh, Green Lantern's new attitude. Those are. Those are things that might that they might pertain to the to the new fifty two. So I'm not sure I, how ex, how accurately this movie captured him. But yeah, you want a good action packed animated film starring the Justice League? I really recommend this one. It's not bad. It's it's really great. Again, DC and Warner Brothers really excel at this sort of thing. But. Anyways, those are my thoughts on Justice League War. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know down in the comments what down below what you think. And if you like this video, give it a like and a subscribe. Anyways, I'm Ninja Greg. You've been watching the Ninja Greg Show. I'll see you next time.